Long and Han, we were just chatting off camera. Um, congratulations on a silver, massive deal. Um, I know with the German team, there's so much talent there. So, hey, you're just incredible. But what does it feel like to be the top German today in this field? Yeah, crazy feeling. Uh, yeah, especially for my home crowd. <laughs> they were cheering so much. And I'm, um, yeah, so happy with all this after the season with all the injuries and I think Jonas deserved this gold medal he was so strong on the whole weekend and so yeah you have to celebrate it now yeah, it's it's cool the camaraderie between athletes that you guys are so supportive and especially with the, the past few weeks that he's had it's yeah. wild it's <laughs> after this crazy uh, crash in Sigulda coming back and winning gold here is like I don't know returning of a champion I don't know how to call it <laughs> especially on a foreign track it's not even his home track yeah. and to just it's I think everybody was kind of rooting for him for this but for you it must feel incredible were you nervous at all for your second run I think yeah for the yeah in front of the first and end of the second run I was a little bit nervous but yeah you can focus on all the fans which are waiting in the finish so that's yeah. Yeah, gives you a big push. So who's here with your family? Yeah, my football club, my ski club, friends and family from my hometown and some friends uh, around of Germany are coming. So I don't know how many there are, but yeah, massive. Oh, you're a loved yeah. person. <laughs> you're a, a football club and a ski club. Yeah. So you, you play football and you ski. Yeah. How do you have time for that with this? Yeah, in summer and after the season, there's some time for soccer and also for skiing. Amazing. Well, Cole, do you want to say anything to everyone watching at home? You can say in German to all your fans. Yeah, danke, danke, danke an alle, die draußen zugeguckt haben, die heute nicht die Zeit hatten. Ey, ihr seid trotzdem der Wahnsinn. Ich freue mich riesig, dass ihr alle hinter mir standet und nach so einem Horrorjahr dann jetzt hier Zweiter zu werden, äh, gilt da auch der Dank euch allen. Ciao, ciao. Amazing. Congratulations. Good job. Um, we've got, wow. Are you kidding? Wow. Congratulations. I'm so excited for you you have you've been the story of the weekend the recovery and the comeback from Segulda how, how are you feeling right now it's amazing it's crazy with all those people here from Germany also lots of Austrians here it's it's just amazing yeah, Jonas Mueller now world champion I know you were sprint world champion but this must feel a lot better yeah no it's crazy you know in sprint it's only one one run one run race and and here, in, in a normal race, you have to, to have like two good runs and yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Are you, so what are you going to do next? Like you're a world champion now. I feel like in America, when people ask this question, they say, oh, I'm going to Disneyland. You know what Disneyland is? Yeah, so what, what are you going to do? I don't know yet. I don't know. First, I'm really excited to go to, the, to race the team relay later with my brother. And yeah, after the season, I think it's, I don't know. Well, I guess on the beach. That would be nice. Did, did you anticipate being a world champion for this year? What? Like, did you anticipate, did you think like, oh, this year I could be a world champion? I don't know. I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I really like Oberhof and I've been here on the podium before. And yeah, I had a good feeling even after the crash in Sigulda. I trained in Innsbruck for four days and I was, I was feeling very good in Innsbruck. And then I, yeah. I was confident to come here and yeah, the training week was so good. And did they totally rebuild your sled or what did they do for your sled? No, actually it's, it's an old sled. Yeah, it's an old sled. And we were thinking about switching to the old sled in the preseason because my trainer was like, ah, I think that one is a little bit faster. But I was, I was always like, no, I'm, I'm going to uh, stick to the new one. But now the old one is pretty good. Well, now you'll stay at the old one for the rest of the season. I, I, you should maybe tell all your teammates, maybe go to the yeah, old sleds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it's it's perfect. You know, it's it's perfect. After the crash in Segulda, the next morning, I already was on the on the flight to Innsbruck. And our federation is really good. They're help, helping together everybody. And yeah, it's, it's amazing. Cool. Well, is there anything you'd like to say to everyone? There's probably so many people watching at home. You could say in German, what do you want to say to them? Äh, danke fürs Zuschauen, fürs Anfeuern und vor allem fürs Daumen drücken. Ähm, ja, im Bludens gibt es ein Riesenfest. Ja, vielen Dank. Amazing, congratulations. World Champ, everybody. Johann, sorry, not Johann, Jonas Mueller. We were talking to Johannes Ludwig earlier. Jonas Mueller, incredible. If you see him, come get his picture because now you're famous. Everyone wants it. Wait, do you have a girlfriend? Is this your moment? You should she's, a, she's in California. Oh, she's in California. She's watching right now. Okay, good. Because I was going to say, if you're good, well, then say hi to the girlfriend. Hello. Hey, Vienna. 
You're dating a world champion now. Amazing. Thank you so much, Jonas. Um, that was incredible. Um, I always want to take the moment, if anyone's ever single, to kind of get their digits out there. But girlfriend of Jonas Mueller, he's a world champion. He was incredible. Um, what a big day. And you could just tell in his demeanor, like, he was so chill. But Marcus Brock, I would love to talk to you. Oh, my gosh. This is one of the all-time greats in the sport of luge. It's an honor, truly, to talk to you. Thank you, thank you. What an amazing day for Team Austria. I, I, I feel like Jonas's story is really incredible. The comeback from Segulda, from that crash to now he's a world champion. What are you feeling about this? Yeah, first of all, we are very happy. It's very important for the Austrian uh, Luge Federation to win medals and world champion to, be, uh, to win the title in uh, men's singles and the bronze medal. Very important and uh, yeah, incredible. Uh, Jonas sometimes very fast. On the other side, he has uh, many crashes and he was not uh, qualified for the Olympics in Peking. And, but he was had a hard summer, good training and fighting. And here it's, uh, yeah, to win in Oberhof, every, everyone from Luz knows to win in Oberhof is very special. And yeah, it's uh, in Germany, get the world champion, it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's really kind of a, we call it a Cinderella story where you're right. And I forgot he had it qualified for the Beijing Olympic team. So to not qualify, work so hard all summer and come back as a world champion, it's, wow. It, 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 it can make you emotional if you think about it enough. So that's really cool. So what are you thinking for Team Austria going into Altenburg and the rest of the season? Are you guys, is there still a lot of work to do? Or are you like, no, this was it, we did it all? Now we have a lot of work to do, always after the Olympics, new coaches, uh, new training and many things are new and also material we are fighting every year and in Sigulda we had really problems with our material and coming back to Oberhof and everybody was very nervous and now we have to work always very hard and also for the next uh, World Cup stations. It, Jonas, this is my last question and then I'll let you go, but Jonas said that he jumped to his old sled, so now are you thinking for the whole team that we need to switch all the material? No, it's uh, not the whole sled uh, old, but uh, some parts are old and uh, no, no, we have a very good and straight way. And, but we have also George Huckley in our team, new coach, he's very interesting, especially for material and our system from Austria and some parts from the German system. And this is why we are working very hard and the next years still to the games 2026 are very interesting. Yeah, and George Hackle and Marcus Park, you guys were kind of back and forth when you competed. How is it now working together, but you were competitors before? My friends are saying you just took him to your team because you are the boss and now he has to do what, <laughs> what I'm saying, what I have to say. No, this is a joke, but uh, now we are very proud. Uh, the other thing is he is, um, knows very much about um, material and the other thing is uh, for marketing that George and me together in the team, this is for, yeah, for all the media very interesting. They, they say if you can't beat them, join them. So that's what, like, like if you can't beat the person, then you become a team yeah. together. Yeah, so that's, yeah, yeah. you guys were very smart. You yeah. did a great job. Well, congratulations on the thank world you, champion you, and you. the third with David Gleischer. And we'll, we look forward to seeing, well, you have Team Relay now. Team Relay. What do you feel? Yeah, we hope that every three sleds uh, uh, take a good run. This is the first thing. And then uh, I hope we can uh, fight against Germany, but also Latvia, also Italy. Yeah and US maybe maybe yeah why not nah. team relay is always could be something and yeah we will see okay cool thank you so much well you, you got some coaching to do good luck with Austria and the relay we'll see if they'll well, you'll probably collect another medal so good good luck for team relay amazing okay under 23 wow oh, bring it in congratulations under how do you so i always forget about the under 23 until they lay it and it's not like you're thinking well were you thinking oh like also timon gran Cagnolo. I, I love your last name by the way yeah how do you say your last name 
Krankanyolo. Krankanyolo, because it's like Italian, right? But you're saying it with a German accent. Yeah, my family also say it in that in that way, and yeah. I love it. Super cool. So, before your second run, were you thinking like, oh, under 23 champion, or were you just like, I want to focus on my run? I have it in my mind, but I have focus on the second run and hope for the best result on the on the world championship for the seniors. Is this your home track? No, Altenburg. Altenburg. Okay, so next week you're excited. And then next year we have World Championship. Yeah, I'm excited much more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's such an advantage when it's your home track, right? But for you to do well here, that's still a big deal. Yeah, it's, it's a big deal here, but I like this track more than Altenburg. <laughs> oh, you like this one? Wait, how come? Uh, it's just nice. I have here my biggest success and it's just nice here. <laughs> okay, I won't tell your home club that. I'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll keep that secret. Do you have any friends or family here? Yeah, my, my family, my whole family is here and my sponsor and my first trainer, uh, Romy Reinhold, is also here. And it's, it's really nice. It's really cool. The, the atmosphere here has been so fun. There's so many people. Yeah. I'm so impressed with how they can stand out here for so long in the cold. Yeah, it's, it's impressive. And I've, that's so lot, so a lot of people. I've never seen this before in the Luge competition. <laughs> I think Altenburg, though, next year. Do you think there will be a lot of people there? There will be a lot, but I don't think that much. Well, well, we'll hope for it. Is there anything you'd like to say to everyone in Altenburg watching? You can say in German. Viel Glück für nächstes Jahr und ich hoffe, ihr seid alle dabei. Amazing. Congratulations, Under 23 Champion Timon Gran Cagnolo. Congratulations. You're going to get a nice medal tonight. It'll look great. So good. Congratulations. Um, well, that was a lot of people to talk to. That was great. Um, so many stories going into this weekend, super cool. But that wraps it up for our individual competitions. We've got relay coming up in a little bit, I believe in less than an hour. But we're gonna take a little break because it's freezing out here and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna break down team relay and all the parts about it and why it's so